Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's CJ, and today we're gonna to talk about how to take the mower deck off and how to put it back on. And looking around YouTube, it doesn't seem like there's very many videos, and the manual talks a little bit about it, but I think it could be more in depth because, you know, for first time tractor owners, this might be difficult because you, you just never seen it before. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to take it off first. Okay, so first thing we have the mower deck lifted up off the ground and for the mower cutting height we have it set to zero. Okay, that's what the instructions say. So now what I'm going to do, well, just watch your feet. I'm going to go ahead and drop the mower deck down. Okay, so now it's down on the ground. Now what we're going to do Right in here, I tried to air this out so it's cleaner. Right in here, we got this pin right here. So we're gonna pull and then put it right there in the notch. On this side, and then over here, on the other side, there's a little bit better light. Pull that one out, set it right there, and then see how that's dropped down. Go here to the front, and we'll pull. Yeah, get ready for that jerk <laughs> and I'm gonna put that back in right there okay so now the only thing we have to do is to go in here and disconnect the PTO now this is the hardest part of the whole process because you got to reach back in here but you can move your mower deck forward a little bit to give you more room and then just pull and that is disconnected We've got the PTO shaft off, and then uh, we've got it out of the brackets here, but the but these uh, brackets are still blocking us. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start up the tractor, and we're gonna lift it up so that those are out of the way. Okay, so now that the mower is completely disconnected, what we need to do now is drop these uh, rear wheels. Otherwise, when we try to back over top of it, it's just gonna slide. Now you could drag this out, but this wheel isn't gonna turn like the front ones. So it's gonna be hard to drag out unless you take the pin out and, and turn both of those wheels. But what I wanna do, I just wanna make it easy. So we're just gonna hit this and then we're just gonna drop this mower deck down the back and then just drive backwards over top of it. All right, so I got the other side down. Give this a swift kick. Oh. And now you can see the angle, now it's down. So now we can drive over top of this mower deck. taken off our mower deck from the tractor. One thing I forgot to mention, if you noticed, I went ahead and put the tractor into four wheel drive because it was still slipping a little bit in two wheel drive. So that's something you're gonna wanna do. Put it in four wheel drive, that way you can back up over top of it. All right, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is right here, whenever you go to lower your three point arms to hook up to whatever you're gonna hook up to, if you look, These uh, mounting arms here for the mower, they drop down too. So what you're gonna wanna do is just push this up, up to where it snaps into place. And then here's your PTO shaft underneath here. It would be nice if I could find something to cover it when I'm not using it. Just to keep dirt and stuff out of there. And now that you're disconnected from the mid-mount PTO you'll want to set this 
back to neutral. That way it doesn't spin whenever you're using the, the rear PTO whenever you attach your other attachments. Okay, so we're gonna put the mower back on. Keep in mind, we didn't mess with the wheels. They're still down. And then we're gonna put the tractor into four wheel drive. And then we're gonna drive over top of this mower deck. We're just going to reverse everything and this is what I consider to be the hardest part because you got to reach up under here but we're going to line this PTO shaft up and then we have to pull the connector back while pushing forward on the shaft there and now once it's all the way against and now I'm just going to pull back hear the click and it's in there and that's the hardest part of this. Now we already got our uh, three point and mid mount lever down, but remember we, uh, we pushed these up to where they'd stay. So you might have to pull down on a little bit to get it to drop down. There it is. And I'm a little bit off. There it is. There we go. That's what we want. Okay, so move this up. It doesn't line up the other side. There's that side. Perfect. And that side went. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, we want to drop this to about right there. That way it can receive this. Make sure that bracket's in there good on the mower. Now we'll lift this up and then. Pop that back into place, and that's it. Now we're still not ready to mow. There's one more thing we gotta do, and I gotta start up the tractor to do it. But we gotta lift this mower deck up, and I'll show you why. If you heard the clicking, that was the sound of these wheels going back down to where they belong. So you want to do that before you start mowing. That way you're not dragging in the back. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you take off and put back on the mid-mount belly mower. And uh, I, like, I like doing this stuff because I like it whenever we get a new tractor here. I like to go over it and try these things to try to get you some tips and tricks to maybe make it easier on you. You know, with the backhoes, taking them on and off, and then with this uh, belly mower too. You know, if, if you're new, it's something you've never done before. So it's nice to have a little insight. And like I said, I couldn't find any videos on YouTube about it. Not very many anyway. But uh, the, the one thing though, uh, the, the hardest part about it is the putting the PTO shaft back on. And, you know, you really want to cover that because... Any of you that have messed with PTO shafts, once they get dirty, they're so hard to connect. So I think it's important to cover that, but you gotta make sure you have the mid-mount PTO in neutral. Otherwise, it'll spin, and I don't think it'll cause any damage, but you're gonna end up losing that plastic bag or cap or whatever you find to put over top of it to protect it. But overall, this is a pretty easy setup, I think, to take off and put back on. And, uh, you know, we'll try to find some more uh, tricks along the way. So let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful. And uh, we'll try to keep doing this kind of stuff with the MT-225S. Until next time, thanks for watching.